Hello, this is Dr. Parimal Lavate from Pune. I am a practicing gastroenterologist in Pune for the last 30 years and I have been seeing patients with gastrointestinal and liver disease for the last 30 years. Uh, a lot of patients with inflammatory bowel disease or IBD as it is termed come and see me for their problems and it's a pleasure on the occasion of this World IBD Day that is 19 May to talk about this topic. When a patient comes with inflammatory bowel disease, there are very common symptoms which we find in clinical practice and two or three of them are very common. One is blood in the stools, second is fever, third is abdominal pain, loss of appetite and loss of weight. So we often find patients complaining with these uh, symptoms and very often they ask why did it happen to me? So there is no real answer as to why IBD happens to someone, there is no definite cause known but it is an immune mediated phenomenon. So there is some autoimmunity or immune attack against your own organs which happens in these diseases and that is what causes this uh, problem. Uh, many times they ask what is IBD? So actually inflammatory bowel disease is just an inflammation in your large hand or the small intestine. Uh, there are two types actually. One is inflammatory bowel disease which is called as Crohn's disease and the second is ulcerative colitis. So they have little different presentations and you can have different manifestations depending on these uh, types of IBD. There are a lot of queries regarding what happens to these patients. A very important query is I have IBD and is it going to remain lifelong? So unfortunately the answer is yes but there is a little difference between IBD and other chronic disease like diabetes, hypertension and so on. The difference is that in inflammatory bowel disease you can get control on the disease and you can maintain that control and uh, the disease is actually not permanent but the tendency for a relapse is permanent. So you can have a person who is nicely controlled with medicines and then he kind of relapses and gets his symptoms again. And a corollary to this question is whether I have to be on medicines lifelong. This is a little tricky question to answer. But many times uh, there are certain maintenance medicines which we need to give to these patients so that the person does not relapse with inflammatory bowel disease again. These medicines include medicines like azathioprine, mesalamine and so on. And these are very helpful in preventing relapses of inflammatory bowel disease. When a lady comes with this problem, she will always have this anxiety. Can I conceive? Can I become pregnant? Will it get transmitted to my children? And these are very important issues which uh, as doctors we have to answer. Now the question is uh, whether the patient can have a normal pregnancy or, or not. So the answer is yes. The chance of transmitting to their children is very low. So I don't think one should have worries about it. And treatment of IBD during pregnancy is extremely safe. Now what are the complications of this? That is another question which patients very frequently ask us. By and large, most of the patients, if they adhere to a proper diet, see their doctor regularly, take medicines regularly, they do well in practice and they generally don't land up with major problems. Of course, there will always be some patients who will lead to, who will have some complications uh, like uh, excessive rectal bleeding and some local complications, but these have to be tackled individually on an individual basis. Lastly, actually there are patients who do require surgery because that is another question which people uh, very commonly ask us. But there are not many patients who require surgery and with today's medicines, I think a lot of patients can be cured with medical treatment alone. So if you have inflammatory bowel disease, do not panic. It is a common condition. So there are a lot of people like you suffering with this same problem. It is a very manageable condition. In most patients, it is manageable with, uh, surge, with uh, medical treatment. Uh, very few patients really require surgery. Uh, stick to a good diet, keep regular medications on and see your doc doctor regularly and you will have a very good result.